Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and Interactive with our world famous top 10 stocks for October 2022. We got some great picks. My crystal ball is saying that October is going to be green. The market is holding true. We're having one of the worst markets ever in the history of the stock market. We're in a clear bear market, which is the best time to buy. Historically, bear markets, the bottom is the best time to be buying stocks. So we're going to talk about 10 stocks that we think you should be looking at right here, right now, exclusively on Rich TV Live. You can join our website and ecosystem and community built by investors for investors at richtv.io, a community and ecosystem that is going to help you learn why you should be looking at specific stocks. Now, we're going to be looking at a lot of value stocks. We're going to look at a few growth stocks. We're going to look at some dividend stocks, oil and gas stocks. So stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. Let's take a look right here, right now at our world famous top 10 stocks. And my crystal ball says, but October, we're going to be green. Let's go right here, right now. All right. With our number 10 pick for October, 2022, Zoom video communications. Now, when you take a look at this chart, you can see, I mean, this has come down uh, pretty uh, aggressively. This was at $588. We always like to mark the high, high and the low, low. This was the pandemic explosion to 588. That was your sell zone, clearly. And 72 is your buy zone. And it's starting to look like it's bouncing off the bottom. We're going to find a bottom eventually, right? So yeah, so we find a bottom here around 72. And it's currently sitting at 75. So I just feel like this is one to watch. It could go a little bit lower. I'm going to tell you why. Remember that when we create new picks, we create group chats on richtv.io where you'll be able to go and find out information about Zoom. Just type in ZM and at the bottom here, Zoom video communications. And then if there's a group chat, it will pop up right away. And you can see you'll get some information here on richtv.io about Zoom video communications. You can add it to your watch list. One of the things I want to really do is I want to highlight the price to earning ratio. So this is one of the areas that I've been really focused on here. Price to earning ratio is a statistic that matters a lot to me. How much are they trading based on their price and their earnings? The average price to earning ratio right now is about 15 times. So when you see something at 24 times, it's still high and it still has a chance to come lower. So we wanna make sure you're aware of that. There's still room for this to go a little lower. If this got to 15 or lower, then it'd be a screaming buy. But you have to know that this numbers come down dramatically because when it was trading at you know $580, this price to earning ratio was probably well over 100. So that was very overvalued. Now it's getting closer to the undervalued zone, as you can see here in the chart. And there's a huge gap to fill. So that's why there are number 10 pick for October 2022. Now in number nine, PXD. All right, this is Pioneer, and you can see here, been as low as 69. This is one that's actually done quite well. Been as low as 69, and been as high as 287, and currently at 216. So definitely not one of those that's been destroyed. It's kind of on the opposite side. It's been doing quite well. But look at the dividend. The dividend is the reason that I want you to see this. 10 0.8% dividend yield, absolutely unreal. And then if we go to PXD here, take a look at PXD, let's take a look at their price to earning ratio. Pioneer Natural Resources on the New York Stock Exchange and their price to earning ratios here on investing.com are 8.66. So the price to earning ratios are actually quite low. The average, like I said, is 15. These guys are at eight. So I think there's still a lot of upside here. And with the huge dividend, they're definitely one to watch. 
and we will create a group chat for Pioneer Natural Resources as well after we're done with this video. So they are number nine pick for October 2022. And then you can go and add them to your watch list right here at richtv.io. So Pioneer Natural Resources, enormous dividend yield. And this is the time where you need to really be looking, in my opinion, for dividends. And you can see the trend is very, very strong with this company. You can clearly see a huge trend up, despite the fact that they are really trading low when you look at their price to earning ratios with a huge, enormous dividend of 10.7%. All right, in number eight, let's go to Fubo. Now, this is one that I've looked at a lot. And the reason why I'm bringing this now is that my son, who's a huge soccer player, him and all his friends are using Fubo. So I thought maybe now is the time. It's been as high as $62, been as low as two bucks and currently sitting at 371. So could go down a little bit for sure. You know, it's been a little bit lower, very volatile company, but one that I think you should look at. Uh, it's one that my friend, my son and all his friends are currently using to watch soccer and sports highlights. So more of a risky play, doesn't have positive price earning ratios, doesn't have positive results yet, still losing money, but one of those more risky plays that could be a huge exploder with a huge gap to fill here and could be a 10X when the market eventually goes bull again. So take a look at Fubo TV and they are our number eight pick, more of a risky pick, but one to watch uh, because I see a lot of people actually using their service. Number eight pick for October 2022. Now in number seven, Lowe's. Now with this huge storm happening in the US, I feel like people are going to be going to uh, you know look to rebuild their homes. So I think Lowe's is one to watch now. Um, you can see here, it's been as high as 259 recently, had a huge move, been as low as 128. Uh, one that hasn't been destroyed in this marketplace, kind of trading right in the middle. I like the fact that the price to earning ratios are sitting around 14, not too bad. I like the fact that they have a dividend, 2.2% dividend yield. And because of this massive storm that's happened in the US that's causing enormous damage, I think Lowe's is one to watch. L-O-W on the New York Stock Exchange has a dividend, some good upside here. Could go a little bit lower, kind of trading right in the middle, but it's one to watch, in my opinion, right now, due to the storm in October 2022. Now, that is our number seven pick in number six, Win Resorts. So I think I've stayed away from travel stocks. I stayed away from resorts, hotels. I stayed away from all of that during the pandemic. But the pandemic is over, right? Biden said it himself, the pandemic is over. We've just opened up all of our borders to international travel here in, in Canada. I'm sure the U.S. will do the same soon. You can see it's been as low as 49 recently, hit a high of 144 last year and 146 area, and it's currently sitting at 64. So much closer to the bottom than it is at the top. And I feel like this could be one of the plays if you're looking to get into something that's going to be like a market opening play. This is one to watch. You can see here a negative price to earning ratio. So still a little bit risky, still trying to get back on track after the pandemic, but one to watch. And I think it's got some upside. You can see it's trading much closer to the bottom than it is the top. And there's a huge gap to fill over here. So there's definitely, in my opinion, opportunity on win resorts. Put them on your radar, put them on your watch list. Our number six pick for October, 2022. Now, in number five, this is another very risky one. It's been destroyed, but we're looking for some of these picks that have that 10x potential splunk. You can see here, it's been much higher. It's gone as high as 225 and come all the way back down like most stocks that we look at and that are just in the market in general. Been as high as 225, been as low as 76. So it's really come back down to reality. And we may have found a bottom here at 78. That's why I'm bringing it to your attention right now. Huge gap to fill. Splunk, another one that's really risky. Negative earning per share. A price to earning ratio at 71. Remember, the average is 15, so still very risky. But it's come down a lot. So you have to think that there might be a chance for it to make a rebound. So just one to watch. Like I said, pretty risky here. It's come down a lot. Might come down a little bit more because it's not a profitable company. But... 
it has some upside. And at some point, these stocks that have come down so tremendously are going to have to go up. And this is one of the reasons why. Look at the RSI sitting right at 30. That's in the buy zone. So you got to wonder if there's going to be you know a little bit of a pop here. I think it could happen in October. That's why they are number five pick for October 2022. Splunk. Now, in number four, we're down to our final four, TTE. TTE, and this is one that I really like because of their dividend. A dividend yield of 6%, beautiful dividend yield. And it's done well in a tough market environment. It's done quite well. Been as high as 59, been as low as you can see here, 25. This is their results over the last couple of years. And you can see currently sitting right at 47. Um, the price to earning ratio, I really like it, 3.3, very undervalued. And the dividend yield of 6%, really like this. This is one to watch, TTE, put on your radar, put on your watch list. Our number four pick for October, 2022. And Cohen & Company maintains a market perform on total energies with a price target of $56 and it's currently at 47. So I think there's some upside here and that's why they're our number four pick for October, 2022. In number three, Oxy. Now I know this has been a big uh, play for a lot of people. It's been a big winner. I know that it's one that Warren Buffett really likes um, and a lot of Wall Street as well. So you can see here, it's been as high as 76. Oil and gas has done well in this market environment and been as low as eight. So it's been on an epic tear, a huge trajectory up. So will this continue? If you're looking for an oil and gas play, this is definitely one to watch. Got a very strong trend. Look at the price to earning ratio, still very low, only 5.7 with a small dividend yield of 0.84%. So it's got a little dividend, but the price to earning ratio still looks very undervalued. So I think there's some upside here for Oxy. And I think oil and gas, if you're looking at diversify, oil and gas is a place to be. So I think Oxy is one to look at, put it on your radar, put it on your watch list, our number three pick for October, 2022. Now in number two, HSBC. I think you need to look at some banks right now. I think banks are going to really benefit from this high interest environment because at the end of the day, that means more money for the banks. You can see it's been as high as 37, been as low as 16, Currently only $26 for HSBC. It's a big bank, right? And for them to only be at 26 seems like a reasonable price. You could see a very nice dividend yield. We love these dividends and value stocks in this market environment. 5.1% dividend yield with a price to earning ratio right at 14. So just a little bit under the average. So I still feel like it's kind of trading right in the middle of the range. And I feel like with banks right now making more with interest, once that really kicks in, I think you're going to see some huge earnings from banks. So I've invested in a lot of banks. This is one that I'm really looking at. I think it's priced right. I think there's a you know a nice gap to fill to go back to 37, an opportunity for us to make some money. So I think you need to put HSBC on your radar, on your watch list, my number two pick for October 2022. And we love dividend yields in this market environment. Value stocks are a safe place to be. Now, number one, this is one that I've always been interested in. I've never bought it, Nike. I just feel like they've come down so much and people are going to keep buying shoes. People are going to keep buying Nikes. People are going to be keep buying Jordans. People are going to continue to um, invest in Nike products. And I just feel like it's fallen off the cliff, right? You could see it was at 178, come down 83. Look at their earning per share. I mean, it's price to earning ratio is a little high at 23. So it still could go a little bit lower, but it has a dividend yield of 1.4. I just feel like it's dropped so much and the RSI is just sitting in the buy zone at 23. So beautiful RSI right now. It's exactly what I look for for the RSI. So I feel like the upside is tremendous here and it's come straight down and you have to think there's going to be some type of a relief rally or something here in October. And if there is, this could be one that's priced right for a huge rally. Love to know what you think about these picks. Do you agree with my picks? Do you like Nike as my number one pick for October 2022? Is now the time to buy Nike? Do you like my top 10 picks? Love to know what you think. Must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. 
please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. We will create a group chat for Nike once we do our top 10, and then you'll be able to get all their details right here at richtv.io, add them to your watch list, and keep a good eye on Nike, our number one pick for October 2022, quality company, we believe, at a reasonable price. Love to know what you think. This is your host with the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV, and I'm out. Thank you.